Now I'm going to take you through that relationship from go to woe. So this is where we've got leads. We've got all of these in the system already. I'm going to create a brand new lead. And this lead is interested in Microsoft Office training. We're dealing with a lady called Mary Black. who is the HR manager, her phone number and email address. And Mary, Mary works for Wonder Buys Incorporated and they do have a website. So all of that is just entering information. I now save that lead. And now I want to speak to Mary and see whether she is really interested in the office training that we offer. So rather than just pick up the phone, which runs the risk of me forgetting, I come here and I will make a phone call. So there's all of the details. And I can now put in some more information about this call. So let's just add this. And then I will save and close that phone call. And this now is appearing on the timeline. Based on this phone call, we're going to make a decision. Do we disqualify this person, Mary Black, or do we qualify her, i.e. take her in? Now, when we disqualify, we give a reason. So if she decided, no, our stuff's too complicated for her, we'd probably choose no longer interested. In this case, I'm going to go the other way and Mary and Mary thinks we're really, really cool. So I'm going to qualify Mary in. So I'm, I just click on that qualify button. And Dynamics is now doing its stuff. And that lead automatically has been converted to an opportunity. So we've moved it one step forward in our sales process. All of this information, or nearly all of it, you will recognize as being information that I put into the lead. We've got the contact, it's also created an account, and this is the opportunity. Again, we've got a timeline, I could do more activities. Because we're short of time, I am not going to repeat things that I've already done. But rest assured, we could do all of this stuff. Now, we're now at the point where we're developing this opportunity. And now we've got more information that we can add in. So I'm going to say, yes, I've spoken to Mary. I have found who the competitors are. And I've found out that there aren't any competitors. I'm not going to worry about those top two. So then I move this opportunity on to the next stage, which is, of course, propose. So for that proposal, what I'm going to do is add some specific products to this. And we know she wants training, so we use the training price list. And we also know a little bit that she would like introductory Excel training. So I'm just going to type some information. We want it for a group. Okay, so now we have got, I'm now going to add some intermediate Excel for a day and save and close. So we've now got this, it has appeared, we know how much it is, 
Notice also that the estimated revenue of our opportunity is $995 coming directly from there. I want to give this as a quote to Mary. So we'll go into quotes and new quote. So Dynamics has now created a new record for us. We've now got that quote record. If I want, I can, first of all, I activate the quote and that makes it read only. And the beauty of making it read only is we've now got a concrete record of the information that we gave Mary here and now. But what I'm now going to do is email that as a PDF to Mary. So click here, it's gone straight into email and you see we have got this quote already attached. And if I look at that attachment, we've got a PDF document. Again, this is the absolutely vanilla version. Obviously, normally it would have your logo and some other text and so on, but this is a document that we have got that we can now send to the customer. I'm just gonna close that and then I will go back. So this is the quote. When Mary receives that email, she really likes it and says, yep, I'm gonna go ahead with that. So we will create an order. Status is one, we won it today. We'll close the opportunity and the revenue can come from the quote. So there we've got an order. And finally, so that we get paid for our efforts, we will create an invoice. Now, during that demonstration, that lead to cash, I have created multiple records. And the benefit of that is we're getting a full audit of what is happening as that sale progresses. Whereas if we had this just in an Excel spreadsheet, for example, where we said, yes, it's an opportunity, now it's a quote, now it's an order, we would not have all of that history and auditability. If I wanted to, at this point, I could go back into the opportunity. I can go back into the customer. I'm not gonna do that right now. But you see how I've got an awful lot of information available. So that is the lead to cash. And Mary being a nice sort of person has paid us that invoice, so we've got some cash, so we'll tell CRM that it is paid. So that is, in very few minutes, the entire lead to cash process.